Hi everyone, it's Sam, and I just got out of the shower and was about to start my nighttime skincare routine, and I thought I would share it with you. There are a lot of steps involved, and I follow my own version of the Korean 10-step skincare routine. And that's where, kind of, where I am kind of in my life right now, is trying to use up as many products as I can, and you've heard me say that about my makeup as well, because there is a lot of products that I have. Um, so let's get started. I Before I get into the shower on some days, I didn't do that today, I wore makeup, um, but I sometimes will go first with a face mask, because that's what they are. Uh, this one is, I believe, by Balance Me, and then this one is the Glam Glow. And I don't do that, I do that maybe once or twice a week. And then in the shower, I will first use a makeup remover. And the one that I'm currently almost done with, I'm so excited, this is the Deep Cleansing Oil by DHC. It was pretty popular several years ago, and I am almost done. It does a pretty good job of taking off my makeup, but it does not take off waterproof make, uh, mascara or liner. Uh, and then next I will go in with this cleanser, this is the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. I like this product and I, most of the time I will use it with my Clarisonic. I didn't realize they discontinued the Clarisonic until like a couple years ago. I, I was flabbergasted. I didn't realize I didn't, they were no longer a company. Uh, sometimes I will use something like this. And I got this recently from Timu, and these both are very, very gentle. Uh, I really like these two. And then the last step for skincare in the shower is an exfoliator. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. It's the Freeman, and the exact name is Charcoal Plus Black Sugar Gel Mask Plus Scrub, and it's the polishing one. The first time I used this, I really felt a difference, and normally I can't say that about skincare stuff. Um, so I recommend that if you're looking for a scrub. I used to be the St. Ives apricot scrub, um, but that's my favorite. I recently started using this as well. This is the number seven, another popular product. It's a total renewal microdermabrasion exfoliator. Oh gosh. And now we are up to uh, the real juice of it. <laughs> the real meat of the real juice of it. I don't even know what that means. We're going to get to the heart of the skincare routine. The first thing I do is a toner, and I have several that I'm kind of cycling through right now. And the one that I'm going to use, why can't I figure this out? I'm staring at my stuff, and I can't seem to... Oh, that's because... <laughs> so this is the part where you would do the toner, right? Uh, but I've been using these detox pads by Nassif, MD... Derma, dermaceuticals, uh, but they are complexion perfecting pads with alpha beta hydroxy. And I'm almost done. There were 60 in here. And I just go over my face. I did wear makeup today. Um, so this will help also. I mean, that's sometimes what a toner does as well. Is take off like residual if there's any, but there shouldn't be because I did all those steps beforehand. And I like this pad because it's really big. And you'll notice me doing this with probably every step. I drag it down to my neck. And look at that. There is some kind of discoloration. Uh, and so that is done. And then we're going to go on to Essence. And the essence that I'm using is this new one. It's the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. It came in here. It's empty because the top to this is just too big and it's really liquidy. Oh, there's, you know what? There's some in here that I will remember to use. But I put it in this spray bottle. And this spray bottle is not very good, but I'll pump some in here. You could also put it on a cotton pad. And I'm just going to kind of tap that into my skin. Sometimes I'm not so gentle. I'm trying to be better about not being so rough with my face. And I feel like since I have been better about my skincare routine, that my face has gotten really 
a lot better. It looks brighter, glowier. And I think that is due to being on top of my skincare routine. Okay, so the next up is, and I do have um, a few like steps exactly what to do because because there is so much involved in uh, the Korean skincare routine or the steps that they do. So next is going to be, uh, I did toner, essence, so serum, and ampule, or ampule, um, serum. The one I'm trying to finish up is this Caudalie one. It is called Vino Perfect, and it's the Radiant Serum. This one is also very wet, and I think you put the essence on before the serum so that they, the serum can really get into the skin. So I'll just press it in. And of course down to the neck. And then we are moving on to, what is it called again? Emulsion. And this is kind of a tricky product for me. I feel like it's a, it is a, a version, kind of a version of a lightweight moisturizer. Um, this one is supposed to be, let's see. Oh no, I thought it was telling me something else. Anyway, this is by John Blanc and it's a balancing emulsion and you're gonna see it's oh. so it's pretty liquidy and I have research online that you can do this after your serum or ampule but I sometimes like to use it as a daytime moisturizer And then, oh, you know what I forgot to do right away? And that's because I was waiting to do this video and I totally forgot. Always, always first. My lips feel so dry. They're so dry right now. I don't think I'm drinking enough water. That's also a skincare tip, by the way. Drinking water. And I just, I don't like to be that person that's like, drink your water, drink your water. But it is important to drink water. Okay. Uh, then we're going to move on to... Let's see here. I don't know why, but filming this, I can't remember anything. A facial oil. We're going to use a facial oil. And face oils are my one of my favorite skincare products. I have, um, so I was mentioning at the beginning that I used to kind of just be really lazy about my skincare routine. Uh, but one of the things that I love to do is put an oil on my face. Even more so sometimes than a moisturizer. And I know people drop it on their face but hi my skin is crazy and I have like sensory issues it feels like someone is tickling my face if I do that so I put it into my palm and I do two to three drops you could always go more if you needed to and then I just go around And then we're gonna move on so this is the step where I would do a sheet mask but I'm gonna save that for uh, Monday night before I have work on Tuesday uh, I if you don't know I work at a public school and I want my face to look the best that it can you know I'm gonna see a bunch of people I've been a hermit for most of the summer okay uh, so yeah, this is where you would do the face mask and I love face sheet mask and I'm gonna say I'm gonna find a good one for me to use on Monday. Okay, next is going to be eye cream and the one that I am trying to use up right now is the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Line Erasing Eye Cream and you can see I'm almost done. I'm squeezing the last of it. And then I like to just put that between my fingers and get sort of an equal amount. And I go under my eye. And then I drag the rest up here because that is part of my eyes. And I try to, I avoid the inner corner for me. My eyes are super sensitive, so I don't like to put anything too near it. And I've found that sunscreen really irritates my eyes, so I have to be very careful in case some of you are after your sunscreen if your eyes are burning <laughs> don't get it too close 
And then we're gonna go in with, um, since I'm not doing a face mask, I'm gonna do a night cream and a sleep mask. But you don't have to do the sleep mask. It's just an extra step that I have. Um, and I've been mixing, and this might be part of why my skin is looking better. Um, I'm using a vitamin C, it's the, these are crystals, and it looks kind of like white powder. I'll show you. Oh, if I could get it. Okay, here we go. So, you're supposed to put, oh, okay, that's good. You're supposed to put two to three shakes in there, and it literally looks like powdered sugar. And then this is the night cream that I've been using. The, uh, it's new. It's a Dio Pose, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Repair Velvet Night Cream. And then what you do is, and I used to put way too much, I think, um, but I'm going to get that much, put it into the mix, uh, mix it up with the powder. And then put that over your face. Now you let me know if you put your eye cream before or after. Because I feel like putting on the moisturizer at night, you just scrub away what you just did. Um, but maybe not. And then the last step here is the Innisfree Hydrating uh, Green Tea Sleep Mask. And I love the way that this smells. And it's pretty thick. I don't like, so I would not put this on by itself. It feels too, it dries weird. Your face feels kind of taut, which I don't like that feeling before going to bed. Um, so I never, I put this on over other things. And I don't know if you noticed, maybe my hands were too low, but every time I use a product, I just spit it to my hands. And then with the, if I was doing a sheet mask, I'll put whatever extra liquid is in the bag. I'll put that on my arm, my legs. I don't want to waste that stuff. And that is the end of my nighttime skincare routine. I know it's a lot of steps, but I feel like that has me being more on top of it. I feel like my skin has gotten better and I'm very happy with the way my skin looks at the moment with makeup, without makeup, and I haven't always felt that way. So I'm definitely going to continue to do this and with work starting again for me, it's really important for me to find moments of, um, moments where I'm not stressed out or anxious about things. Um, so yeah, let me know what your favorite products are in your nighttime skincare routine. Even though I'm trying not to buy a bunch of skincare and makeup products, I still like to know what you are using and what you like. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, don't mind my shiny face. I actually just did my daytime skincare routine. And I'm adding this on to the end of the video because I totally forgot to mention some of the tools that I use. And I don't know why I didn't remember to use them yesterday, but let me just show you. I have this gua sha. This one is from Daiso, and it looks like a dinosaur foot in my opinion, <laughs> or what I think a dinosaur foot looks like. I use that after more of the liquidy stuff, like the serums, essences, ampules. And then I have this eye roller. This one is from Target. I forgot the brand, uh, but it fits perfectly and it's really cooling. I'm actually going to do it now because my eyes are puffy. Our smoke detector went off at five something, but there was no smoke. Uh, but you never can be right after that, I feel like. I was up for a little bit. And then I have this product that I haven't used in a long time. It's kind of scary. It's the, I think they call it the micro, no, no, it's not a grater. I was going to say micro plane. Um, but it's this thing and it has little, if I turn it, I don't know if you can see the little needles on there and it does hurt when you use it um, but I want to put it back into my routine and then I have a few rollers oh I have also in the refrigerator I have like an ice roller 
uh, two kinds, one that you don't fill with water, water and one without. I also have this roller. And then my friend got me this one. Where did she get it? Right? I know I got it. She got me the one in the freezer. Uh, it's this one. And yeah, that's it. I use those not all the time, just when I can remember. <laughs> um, but I do find them useful. And it's again, it's all part of the like enjoying the routine and that just adds a little bit to it.